that fucking girl got VD. <laughs> There's then a girl on Facebook STDs. that's friends with me from high school that her pussy wouldn't get wet. <gasps> so they used to call her the dry hump. Fairview, <laughs> New Jersey. They used to call her Fairview, New Jersey. The dry <laughs> was banging this girl was fucking banging though so you'd have to like bring vaseline or something yeah she was from wayne new jersey and she was banging she moved to north bergen like and she was a sophomore and she was dating a few guys and shit and things happened like i was friends with her. i knew she didn't like me like she she just didn't like me for some reason i didn't think the world of her either <laughs> and one night in 84 i'm at a bar and this bitch comes in i mean banging 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 they also said she had some type of vd so they called her laurie jack you know like she's got the jack <laughs> no <laughs> when they see dc sang a song oh. she's got the jack 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 so they used to call her name and jack like that was her name. like they, they just tormented this girl oh. and she dated like a rocky like a rock guy that had like long hair and a rocker shit. and one that i saw her, and rocky she, <laughs> and she was banging joe rogan right yeah. banging and I go, you live in North Bergen? And she's like, yeah, I didn't go to college. I, I'm, a, I'm a nanny. I'm a nanny. And she told me the guy's name. And I knew that guy. That guy had a massage parlor years earlier. The guy that she was being a nanny for. And I go, I go if she's his nanny, he's just fucking her. Something's got to be wrong. She looked so good in that miniskirt. She disappeared like 1.30. And finally at like 3, I'm sitting there. I'm like, what am I going to do tonight? And I had like a bag of Coke. I go, fuck it. I'm going to go get her. <laughs> So I went, to, this is how crazy I was. I went to the dude's house, which she told me. I knocked on the door, it was 3.15 in the morning. <gasps> and he's no. like, Coco, what are you doing here? I go, I gotta talk to Lori. There's something missing. He goes, hold on, Lori? And she came down and she comes outside. He's got a robe on, she's got a robe on. And I look her straight in the face, I go, listen, I got like two eight balls in my pocket, get dressed, let's get the fuck out of here. And she's like, I can't, and I go, you have to. And we, we, we argued there for like 10 minutes. I'm like, I want to suck your pussy. I want to do dirty things Whoa, to you. Oh, I don't give a fuck about the VD or the jack or the dry hump. I'm on fire. And she's like, well, give me 10 minutes. And I, I don't, how am I going to sneak out of here? I don't know. So I waited outside for her. She's like, I'll put Lou in bed and I'll run out. About 15 minutes later, I see her running out with her purse with like a bank deposit bag. <laughs> she's like, fuck him. I can't take him anymore. Fuck him. We were on foot. It's 4 30 in the morning. <laughs> I'm on Tunley Avenue, North Bergen. There's a bunch of those dirty hotels. So I'm like, oh, I got a score here. I got Coke. She's got money. I'm going to fuck her. I'm excited. We go back to a hotel. We finally register. It's like $30. They asked us if we wanted the, the jacuzzi in the room and shit. It was one of those dirty hotels on Tunley as you go into New York City. We went in there. We walk in and she goes, rule number one, you are not going to fuck me. It's five in the morning. There goes my fucking. There goes this night. And all of a sudden she looks at me. She goes, well, if you could guess the color of my panties, I'll fuck you. And I'm like, okay. Red. And she goes, they're green, but good enough. <laughs> <laughs> we started snorting coke, eating ass. I mean, it was filthy. I woke up at five in the afternoon, and Doug Flutie was throwing that quarterback, that touchdown. <sighs> In 1984, uh, or 83, uh, Doug Flutie, I was uh, waking up. She was naked, ripped apart. <laughs> I'm waking up, and Doug Flutie's throwing the touchdown. I got dressed and got the fuck out of there and never saw her again. Never said to her. I even robbed the money. I took everything. <laughs> she pops up on Facebook about two years ago, and I'm like, Lori, how are you? She's like, fuck you, you fat faggot and all this shit. <laughs> She's like, you left me there that night, but we had a good time. Fuck yeah, we had a good time. <sighs> And I will hit her back and go, what color are your panties? Uh, and she goes, what's that supposed to mean? It's oh, fucking that's tremendous. Hilarious. That's I knew she hilarious. gave me something. She had something. <laughs> but I didn't give a fuck. It was 84. Rock Hudson was dying. I didn't use a condom. <laughs> I knew the consequences. Oh. I'm like, fuck it. So I knew I was going to get something. And I probably did. I got crabs after that. Over the holidays. That, you know, like that was 84. <laughs> I got crabs in the yeah, 84, 85 season. I got crabs. I found out at a bathroom in Port Authority. I went to Port Authority to take a shit, and I pulled my pants down, and I'm sitting there reading the paper, and I see a crab. Like, I saw something jump, and I'm like, what the fuck? And I'd never heard it. I'd never heard it. Nothing. 
I went home and took my underwear off and got like a magnifying glass. It was over. It was all over me. They were all over the couch. I had to bring a bomb into the room, like one of those fucking bug bombs, and leave for 12 hours. Did you really? Oh, I grabbed up the whole fucking thing. (laughs) It was crabbed up for like a month, dog. Oh, my God. The lady next door knocked on my thing. I was living in Tenafly, New Jersey. Lady next door knocks. Do you have a bug problem? I'm like, no. No. I don't know what happened. Ever since you moved in here, there's been crabs and shit. Oh, 